Republican state lawmaker and Central Washington University political science professor Matt Manweller's life is on hold pending the outcome of the university's investigation into his alleged misconduct on and off campus. But now the longtime educator knows the nature of those accusations. A summary of the past decade of allegations boils down to claims that I opened a door and helped a woman with her coat during a dinner meeting. I looked at a student in my class. I sat down at a cafeteria table with a student. I gave my 23-year-old babysitter a glass of wine in the privacy of my own home. I told a student not to use my state paid email address for political purposes, and I stood too close to a student at a reception. Manweather says the claims listed in the unredacted version of the investigative report released to him a few weeks ago are nothing but a bulletin of fabricated lies. I think what Central wants is me gone, right? I mean, it's one thing uh, to be a Republican professor. I mean, universities generally do not like conservative professors. But for me to then go and get elected to the legislature where I'm on the front page of the local paper, the Seattle Times, and it just rubs the staff the wrong way. Um, and for me to just not be associated with Central as this conservative Republican, I think is their primary goal. What is your attorney saying about this? Well, my attorney thinks that you know they have violated multiple provisions of the faculty code. Uh, the faculty code requires a fair and unbiased investigation. That didn't happen. Uh, there's supposed to be some basic due process. We don't think that's happened. Uh, we feel that they've engaged in workplace harassment. And one of the things I really want to point out is that we are not talking about women coming forward and saying, I'd like to make a complaint. Central is not responding to allegations. They're manufacturing allegations. So they're just sitting down with an investigator and going through the list of every student I've ever had, every babysitter I've ever had, and just calling them up and saying, do you want to make an allegation? Do you want to make a complaint? So these are not people coming forward. Central is going to them. And of course, if you call 2,000 ex-students, you're going to have 10 or 15 say, yeah, I didn't like Matt. He was mean to me. You know, um, it just, you, there's no teacher in the world who has 100% of your students liking you. And if you give them an opportunity to say bad things, they're going to take it. iFiber One News obtained an affidavit signed by a former CWU student who says she was approached by the investigator in April. In the affidavit, the student says she was asked about a banquet she attended with Manweller in 2006, along with several others from CWU. The former student states that the investigator, who identified herself as Trish Murphy, asked her, quote, very leading and inappropriate questions about the event. The former student also claims that the investigator, quote, got frustrated when I disagreed with her characterization of what I said, and says, quote, overall, I felt Ms. Murphy was engaging in a witch hunt. But iFiber One News contacted one of Manweller's accusers in hopes of hearing more of their side of the story. The woman released the following statement. She says, I feel my experience may not be something that would really help your story. I simply had lunch that he intruded on. I worry that putting a story such as mine into the narrative would give people who support Manweller ammunition to say that those who are unhappy with his actions are reaching for the truth. I personally feel that if I had allowed his actions, it would have stretched further than an intrusion on my lunch, but I fear that my instincts are not enough to convince others. And though I hope uh, uh, that other stories may help prevent others from suffering from Manweller's misconduct, I'm wary of the fact that others may not view my story as evidence of such misconduct. Your thoughts? Well, because it's not. Um, this was a student in my class, um, and uh, she was sitting in the cafeteria alone with no friends. And, you know, I guess I could have just walked on by. I could have said, you know what, let the counselors deal with it. But this is an era where we talk about teen suicide, we talk about uh, student depression. And so I thought I was doing the right thing. You know what, I see a student over there, she's sitting alone. You know, she doesn't have any friends, so I sit down with her. I guess she's calling that an intrusion. It wasn't meant to be an intrusion. It was try meant to be kind of like an olive branch. And so, you know, we didn't talk about anything inappropriate. I asked her if she was enjoying my class. Uh, I asked her, does she like being a resident advisor? I told her that I was a resident advisor. And it was about a three minute conversation. And then I moved on. Right? I mean, if I had like been waiting for her in the cafeteria and having lunch with her every day, I could see why there'd be a complaint. And so, I mean, I guess what she's really saying there is, this is pretty weak, and if we go public with this, people will realize that 
these things are not really significant acts of mis workplace misconduct, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's her, her take on it. But, you know, I guess we agree on the facts. She was sitting. I joined her. We talked for a few minutes. I moved on. I consider those everyday human events. I don't consider that sexual harassment. I don't consider that workplace misconduct. And I don't really think that she does either. Manweller was asked about his classroom conduct moving forward should he retain his post at Central. Once you do or if you do continue to work for Central, is it going to drastically change the way you conduct yourself in the workplace and, are, and interact with students? Unfortunately, I think it's going to have to. Uh, I think any other professor wouldn't have this problem, but with me, a target on my back, you know, I kind of joke around. If you remember that professor from Ferris Bueller's Day Off where he just sits up there monotonously saying, Bueller, Bueller, anyone, anyone? That might be me now just because I think any type of, you know, personable interaction, any type of joking, any type of teasing could be taken wrong. Uh, any type of inquest into, hey, how's your personal life? Or are, are, are things okay? You know, that's all done. It's just, here's the lecture. Here are the facts. Have a nice day. Central Washington University says its investigative report will be released to iFiber One News in the near future, and when it does, we'll have a local attorney provide his professional opinion on whether the investigation was warranted or a shining example of workplace harassment. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News.